lovelies, I hope you're all well. So anybody that saw my live on Thursday night on Facebook will know that I spent Thursday experimenting and I was actually experimenting with painting vinyl. Now this all came about as a fluke, I was using 651 as a stencil on a canvas and when I removed my vinyl stencil it looked beautiful on the vinyl. So I spent Thursday having a play and this is actually a painted vinyl. So we're going to do a few different ones today. So the first thing is that you want to work ideally with 651 and you want to work with the mat. The other thing is that you want to cut your design first. Now you want to make sure that your cut is a nice clean cut and you've got no uplift. Now the key to this is using acrylic paint. You can use other paints but they have to go on top of an acrylic base. If you try a ready mixed paint for example, so a poster paint or anything like that, when they dry they're just going to rub straight off. So your initial base or your initial paint on your vinyl has to be an acrylic. That's where my experiments have led me anyway, so I would recommend using an acrylic based paint as your initial layer. So with this one, make some acrylic paint and I'm going to go in with a roller. And I'm just going to roller a nice thin base all the way across. I've then got some of these ready mixed paints which I've just got from Hobbycraft from the children's art section. I'm going to cover my paintbrush and I'm just very very gently going to come over and just start splattering. Now you want your splatters to not be great big blobs. So you do want to try and keep them little and you can just add as many as you like and as many different colours as you like as well. So for this next one you can see that I've laid out lines of acrylic paint and I've got a makeup sponge here. So I'm just going to get my makeup sponge and dip it into my acrylic. I'm then going to come in and start sponging my vinyl. So these have been left to dry overnight and you can see that I've already gone in and weeded this one so we're just going to weed these two. transfer tape here I get this from Crafty Cutter and from GM Crafts now I've only got the Cricut extra strong grip transfer tape and that's not going to be 
any good for this at the moment. So I haven't tried this with the normal Cricut transfer tape, but we're going to use this transfer tape today and we're also going to use some of the paper transfer tape as well. Now with this transfer tape, because it's obviously quite sticky, we are going to end up with some paint residue on here, but it's not going to be enough to actually spoil the design on our vinyl. So we're going to transfer this the exact same way we normally would. So we're going to do it from the front, then from the back. We're going to remove from the back. We're then going to come and place it on our area. You're then going to go in with your roller and we can then remove our transfer tape. So you can see that we are left with some paint residue if we use this transfer tape, but I just wanted to show you that you can use it if you haven't got any of the paper transfer tape. You do just need to be aware that you will be left with some residue on there. So I've got some paper transfer tape here. This is just like a big roll of masking tape. I get it from GM Crafts, but you can get it from eBay, Amazon. There's lots of companies, both in the UK and the States, that provide this. It's great for delicate items, so things like vinyling balloons, things like notebooks. It's absolutely fantastic. little uplifts here but they are tiny tiny pieces of uplift. 